What's going on YouTube? So in this video, I've got something that I think you guys are really gonna enjoy. Also, wait, wait a minute. What, what, what is this? Is this, is this a J Laser Video hoodie? Oh uh, yeah, that's exactly what it is. Currently one of a kind. Cannot get this anywhere. In fact, I actually just got this for my birthday today. Um, my dad made it for me. So yeah, it is one of a kind. I'm actually really excited about it and it makes me actually want to start selling them. Cause this is like the first real life thing with my logo on it that ever came out of this channel. You guys probably don't care as much as I do, but uh, I think this is really cool. So thank you to my dad for getting this for me. Really does mean a lot. So I don't know, comment below if you'd be interested in something like this. I also don't want to just sell like shirts and clothes because I think a lot of people already do that. So I've had a few ideas. One of them was like these custom arc lighters. So uh, you guys have seen me use these in videos before. Uh, I think they're really cool um, and I think I could make Jayla's video versions of them. If you have any ideas of your own, drop them down below in the description. And yeah, don't forget giveaways on my Instagram, giving away at web shooters. Go like the web shooter picks. Anyways, back to the point of this build. So I've made web shooters in the past. Uh, with the new Spider-Man Homecoming movie coming out, uh, I think this is a perfect time to focus on it. So in all my previous other web shooter videos, I've made web fluid with like soap and water, with like gas that freezes stuff, and just like, you know, it's not real like web, and, like Silly String, I guess, was pretty close. Um, so in this video, I'm attempting to step it up and actually create something that will be like strands of web that you can shoot out of your wrist, just like Spider-Man. So I'm gonna be using my Spider-Man web shooter, I think 3.0 version. It uses two lighters to uh, store the fluid. Um, you'll see why I'm using that in a minute. So uh, here's a quick clip of uh, how to make it. All right, so now we've got our web shooter created and here's the part where it gets fun. We're gonna be making our very own web solution using two chemicals that together will synthesize nylon. So this is a science experiment that's pretty popular. Um, basically, you just need two parts uh, to create this nylon. One of them is a one six hexane diamine and uh, sebicoil chloride. So with these two parts, we're actually able to synthesize nylon. So if we can successfully do this, because my web shooter can shoot out uh, two streams at once, uh, I'm gonna hopefully put one part in one of the lighters and the other part in the other, and hopefully when they combine in midair, they'll create webs and we'll be shooting out nylon webbing. I think it'll be really cool. Hopefully it also satisfies everyone saying, oh, it's not real webs. Now it is, let's do it. Life 
So as you can see guys, really cool experiment to do. Basically the way this works is uh, one chemical sits on the bottom and the other sits on the top and uh, right in the middle, I don't know if you guys saw, was uh, where the nylon was actually being synthesized. So what we were able to do was stick a piece of wire down into the middle where the two substances were uh, combining and uh, we were able to pull the nylon out, uh, which formed the strands of webbing uh, that you saw. Basically, whenever we pull some nylon away, more of the substances combine and create new nylon, which uh, binds to the old nylon, and the process just keeps going. So you can just keep creating these uh, polymer strands of nylon until all the nylon has been created and uh, the substances run out. So this task gives me a lot of hope for uh, the web shooters. I think all I have to do is just put a little bit of one chemical in one web shooter, a little bit of the other chemical in the other. Let's go ahead and load these things into our web shooters and uh, see what happens. Alright guys, so that's pretty much the video. As you saw, we definitely were creating webs. It's a little bit hard to see if I'm just shooting it on glass because it's a flat surface. But uh, when we looked at it closer, we were actually able to peel back the web. So uh, that was really cool. Overall, huge success. I had a lot of fun making this video. Um, definitely felt like Peter Parker in his uh, in his basement when he was like, creating his web fluid. So when I was actually testing this web fluid, it smelled so much like Silly String. There's quite a few similarities, I'm sure. Uh, between this solution and uh, what they use in Silly String. So uh, that was pretty cool to figure out. Drop your ideas down in the description for uh, new ideas you want to see me do in the future. I've got a lot planned, um, so make sure you stay tuned. That's it for me for this video, guys, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace. Peace.